Steve Harley, of course, the Cockney rebel himself. With Judy Teen. And we're going to tell a Cockney tale. We're going to tell a Soho story. And it's being told in the shape of a radio musical drama called Spaghetti West End, The Legend of Vinnie Saint. And three of the people involved in that have joined us now. They are Lenny D. Lorenzo, director, composer, writer and actor. He's been a very busy man. Benedict Blythe, an actor, and Robert Mark Calfin, co-producer. Welcome all, all of you to BBC Radio London. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, so much. Thanks for having us. OK, let me begin with you, Lenny. Yes. How did, how did this story evolve? How did you get involved in any of this? Okay, well, I used to have a show at the Hippodrome Casino called Blues Juice, it's, right. you know, blues show. And um, I, I, we, we played all the classic stuff, but then I have a friend, David Edwards, who collects records from the 60s. And I asked him if he could give me some interesting, obscure track that I could feature in the show. And he gave me the 45 of this guy called Vinnie Saint. And, I, you know, I thought it was a great track. I heard it was called In My Town. And after we played the song in uh, at the Hippodrome, a guy came after the show. He came 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 over to me and said, "Oh, that's that's the Vinnie Saint track." And I told him, "Do you know this guy?" And he said, "Yeah, you know, he used to play the marquee in the sixties, and he was Italian. You know, I'm Italian." Yeah. So when he told me that, I was almost shocked because you know you never heard of an Italian guy playing the marquee. Uh, so I started researching about him amongst my friends in Soho and the community, and I gathered a lot of information, and it became a script. And it's as much as a, 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 a film about this mythical character, Vinnie Saint, it's also a film about Soho and about the time as well, isn't it? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, the uh, Soho Society has endorsed the show because of its contribution to the no public, public knowledge of the history of Soho. And a lot of the scenes, they happen in locations that are there still or are not anymore. And when you say... Uh, it's, is it, it's purely oral. It's purely to be listened to. Well, it starts as a film. It ends as a film with opening credits and end credits. Uh, so it's, it's a hybrid audiovisual thing because you will be able to read the, the dialogue on the screen. So it's, like, it's almost like a YouTube stream. Right. But yes, it is. It's very modern. Uh, this is very <laughs> well, we try and take advantage what te uh, of technology the way that the best we can. And uh, so uh, people will be able to hear it and watch it like a YouTube stream, basically. Yeah. How did you get involved in this as in, in production terms, Robert? Oh, well, um, first of all, I met. Uh, I, I, I was born and raised in North North London in Finchley before I moved to America, um, and I was visiting here, uh, and I met a Lenny by chance at the uh, New Mayflower Chinese restaurant when there were no tables <laughs> ready, and the waiter said, "Oh, do you mind sitting with a group of people?" And it was Lenny and his mom, and we became friends, and we start started speaking, and Lenny uh, showed me the script uh, back in 20, 2015, and we've been working on that. Ever, we've been working on that ever since. So it's been a long time coming, this project. There's been a big gestation. Uh, yeah. Yes. I mean, uh, also because, you know, I, I, I'm, my, I'm, a, I'm a composer, first of all. So I had to learn, and thanks to Bob, Bob was great guidance in this. I had to learn how to shape a script. Right. And I'm still learning. We're also, you yeah. know, so Spaghetti with Stan, it's really, a, it's it's uh, an open project. And the next step is to, to, to put it on his feet on stage uh, but yes, it will be released as a uh, for everyone as, because, a, as a radio. Because one of the other things about the film, I guess, and as you said, you're Italian in origin, is that it, it looks at the way that the Italian community played a role in Soho in particular, doesn't it? Oh, well, big time! Yeah, yeah, absolutely. As a matter of fact, one of the main uh, people to give me information about Vinny was Nino, the owner of Bar Italia. And, you know, his son, Anthony, also played a part. And you've in got that. Ray Gelato, is in it? I've got yeah. Ray. Ray plays as one of the main parts. He plays Rocco, who's basically this bouncer who introduces uh, the main character, Santo, to Albert Dimes, who's, you know, you know who, who he was. He was the, 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 the boss of Soho back in the 50s exactly. and 60s. Exactly, yeah. And well, if I could quick, quickly say, the other connection I had was that my, my stepdad used to work at Leather Lane Market and Berwick Street Market. Right. And he had actually had... Le he actually had Vinny's Vinny Saint's records, and he would actually play them. I had no idea who it was, but something clicked when I heard of Vinny Saint, and and that that was this crazy connection that we had. Benedict, who do you play? I play the boss. I yeah. play the man. What well, Albert Dimes? Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. And um, I was sitting at home one beautiful summer's evening <laughs> in my garden, new neighbors next door. And I hear this incredible guitar going on next door, and I feel like I'm sitting in the front row of Glastonbury. And it's so good that it, I eventually, I get a chair, stick my head over the fence, and say, thank you, that was just magnificent. And months later, 
the head comes back over the fence and says, hey, lockdown's coming up. We've got all that to deal with. Do you want to be part of this script? And that's how I end up being Albert Dimes. How can people hear it? Well, people will be able to hear it on SpaghettiWestEnd.com uh, 10 days from now. Right. It'll be divided into two acts so people can take their time and listen to, you know. How long is the whole thing? It's two hours. Right. So it's two one-hour sections. Exactly. And I, I'm, still ch I, I'm still getting my head around the kind of technology of all of this. It, 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 will it just be there forever then and you can hear it at any point or do you need uh, to... Yeah. How, how do you access it? No, well, this is, this, this is going to be for everyone because it's, it's really, it really is a community project and i i want to stress uh, you know this this point it was it, this thing has never had never been done before sure. so any member from the community of so probably a lot of people you know yeah has a part in it as an actor who have uh, th they've contributed somehow so george is in so there, george yeah. in there. <laughs> <laughs> so so i think that's that in um in my opinion that's my biggest pride uh, the fact that i i've put together the for the first time the entire community into into a show uh you know yeah do you have plans to try and do more with it, do you think? Yeah, yeah. The next step is, is to stage it. Right. Uh, and for that purpose, we'll, you know, we'll, 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 we'll have to tweak it a bit because, as you know, stage is a different reality. Uh, and that's, that's, that's the next step we're going to do, either, either here or with Bob's help in America. So we'll see. And tell me about, we're going to play a piece of music, So Home. Tell me a bit about that. So Home is, a, is, is a, well, like the entire show, it's, it's really a love letter to So Home. And so home is the expression of that. So it's a place that is home for everyone. It's a beautiful place, very inspiring, but very dark at the same time. Not as dark as it once was. Or some of us feel sadly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people say they say hey, it's lost all the you know all the dangerous you know you know mood. But well, in my opinion, there's enough of that. If you go if you if you go to you know to some of the underground clubs, you still get that. I mean, someone once said to me, you know, Soho is never what it was. So everyone always says Soho is not what it was 10 years ago, but it never was what it was. It's, it's always changing, and every generation invents their own Soho. Yeah, yeah and it's, it, it's, it's kind of cool and interesting to think of a place like that in a, in a, in a, to have a fantasy like that. Am I right? You know, oh, absolutely. To fantasize about the darkness and the danger and the... The seediness. When you when you were playing Albert Dimes, his real name was Alberto Dimio, of course. Is is there an Italian? Would he have had an Italian accent, or would it have been well, a London accent? Well, I mean, uh, as Lenny says, it's actually it's a drama. It's not a documentary. No, sure. So yeah, I did some research and I discovered that he came from Scotland. Yeah. So <laughs> he's Scottish. <laughs> Fantastic. We're going to play this piece of music. Tell people again how they can how they can access Spaghetti West End. So go on, on to SpaghettiWestEnd.com 10 yep. days from now and you'll be able to stream the show. And will you hear this piece of music? Yes, it's the opening track of the play. And this is Leonardo Lenny Di Lorenzo with So Home. Gentlemen, thank you very, very much. Thank you. In a lousy bar, in an empty glass, you could find a star and forget the rest till the morning dawns and the sparrows spawn. You home till the alley street and the hookers cry, the betrayers creep. And the demons fly, oh, safe, real safe, your home. Forget about the rest, forget it while you can, forget it till the day those shadows. Will dissolve. Enjoy this time you have and waste it while you can. The bliss of youth, the lies, the truth, those lips so smooth. Darkened room 
for a broken smile You could shake your feet And forget your style Till the day begins And the night repents Your home Forget about the rest Forget it while you Forget it till the day those shadows will dissolve. Enjoy this time you had and waste it while you can. You're not alone, you've always known. You're safe back home So home So home So ho, so home From Spaghetti West End, the legend Vinnie Saint And Sarah is still a precious place as far as I'm concerned. It does change all the time and it has changed dramatically in my lifetime. But I think it's also fair to say that each generation will create a kind of a Soho in their likeness. Um, and, and, and the one we've got now is still pretty good. 